And now it's time for algebra review. The review lesson with this chapter is on fractional equations. And this term, fractional equations, simply means equations that contain fractions. That's all. The problem is that fractions always make things a little bit harder than they otherwise would be. Fractions aren't as easy to deal with as integers or whole numbers. Fortunately, we have a simple technique for taking an equation that contains fractions and clearing out all the fractions. And I'll show you that technique by looking at some examples. Here's example one, and obviously this is a fractional equation. You see the fraction there, 3 fourths and 7 thirds. And this right here, this first term, x over 3, that's also a fraction. The technique for getting rid of the fractions is pretty simple. You start by looking at all the denominators. I see a 3, a 4, and a 3. And you ask yourself, what is the least common denominator? What is the LCD, the least common denominator in this case? And you can tell here it will be 12. 12 is a multiple of 3 and 4 and 3. So the technique for getting rid of all the fractions is simply to multiply both sides of the equation by that number, by the least common denominator. So if I have x over 3 plus 3 over 4 equals 7 thirds, I'll take the left side and multiply it by 12, and I'll take the right side and multiply it by 12. Now when we multiply by 12 over here, don't forget to distribute. The 12 gets multiplied by x over 3, and the 12 gets multiplied by the 3 fourths. So let's do that. When we multiply the 12, by the x over 3. Remember this 12 can be thought of as 12 over 1. So the 12 is in the numerator. And this 12 and this 3 you can see reduces to a 4. So 12 multiplied by x over 3 becomes a 4 and we still have the x. So it's 4x. And then we have this plus sign, remember. And now we have to take our 12 and multiply it by the 3 fourths. So think about the 12 on the top and the 4 on the bottom. That reduces to a 3. The 12 over 4 reduces to a 3, and we still have that 3 right there. So it's 3 times 3. So the left side becomes 4x plus 9. In other words, when I multiply my original left side by 12, I get 4x plus 9. Now on the right, I have 7 thirds times 12. And remember, this 12 is also 12 over 1. So this 12 is up top, and the 3 is down below. Those reduce to a 4. And if you want to, you can cross them out and put a 4 there. But you should be able to see that you have the 7 times the 4, which gives you a 28. So 4x plus 9 is 28. Now we've changed our problem into one that is much simpler. There are no fractions involved, and we can solve this using ordinary algebra techniques. We'll subtract 9 from each side, and when we subtract 9, we have 4x remaining on the left. And on the right, we have 28 minus 9, which is 19. And then the final step is simply to divide by 4. So x is equal to 19 over 4, and that's the answer. 